Ben, actually, is just about everything that you have already touched on. It's a conference that brings on board young people, especially in Western region, especially in here in Kakamega County, the neighboring Siaya County, which is in Nyanza, and also Bungoma, so as to facilitate them to discuss a little bit about issues in regard to agribusiness, where we have seen so far that Western region has a large number of young people, but we don't have white-collar jobs. So the only option for them is to train them and give them a platform where they can discuss the way forward in terms of venturing into agriculture uh, and also practicing things that can pay them back rather than to look for formal jobs. So as already have noted, the conference has been launched officially today here at Bukura Agricultural College, which offers a lot in training in terms of agriculture. We have had so many uh, officials from the government, also from other corporate affairs, and in regard to that also we have had financial institutions that are ready to finance young people People who will believe or who think that the only option for them now is to venture into agribusiness. I won't speak a lot because I also have so many people to interview here. I'll interview a few of them. I'll start with the deputy governor for Kakamega County. He's called Mr. Kutima. Maybe you can tell us why did you decide to have such a kind of an event here in Kakamega County? Uh, thank you very much. We decided to have uh, this uh, event at Bukura, in, especially in Kakamega County, in cooperation with the um, uh, with the other two counties of Siaya and Pungoma, uh, sponsored by the German government, because we find that uh, uh, mostly agriculture is uh, has mostly aging people, and most of our youth have been going towns to look for white collar jobs. But we started a program in the county where we are encouraging the youth to go to polytechnics, and then after they finish the polytechnic, we give them the capital to be able to start. Uh, businesses in agriculture so we want to sensitize them so that uh, they don't think about jobs being in the in the towns or other places they can remain at home and make um, uh, money by doing agriculture yeah before I so let me speak to Mr. Marios, he's from the Germany government. Why did you think that this is a good, a good initiative for you to finance and also to make sure that the young people from Western region venture into agriculture? We from the German government, we are in constant touch with the national government, but also with the county level. And we understood that youth is the future. And we want to support the government here in Kenya, also on the county level, to really uh, make use of the youth, to uh, engage them in productive jobs, uh, future attractive jobs, to contribute to food security and income generation. So we see the, uh, the need here in Kenya. So we are supporting the government in agricultural TVET uh, with innovations agricultural finance we've just started a new technical vocational education training focus area so we are at the side of the Kenyan government and uh, we understand the youth is the future so that's why we're here thank you so much let me speak also to the PS Ministry of TVET Mr. Kevit uh, maybe you can tell us what is your role in terms of uh, training these young people and also making sure that after such kind of a training they can venture into agriculture and maybe also they have funds to start farming we're aligning the entire national system to promote self-employment and gainful employment, which means that young people will be capacitated with their skills for innovation, uh, technologies, be able to have entrepreneurship skills to fulfill their uh, professional careers in whichever sector that exists. Agriculture in particular is in a fast-growing and very interesting and exciting sector that the youth can easily yield to but provided, of course, that um, investment is put into TIVIT, there's ongoing reforms which are yielding in high levels of standards of training, but a lot more needs to be done. The driving interest, of course, is the promotion of technology, innovation and science in agriculture. And if that happens, then this creates an exciting uh, entry in for a young person, but most importantly, our ability to realize as a country the uh, big four of uh, sustainable security as far as agriculture is concerned. Thank you so much. I'll, because of time, I'll cut you short. Maybe if, just for gender balance, you can tell us your name and the role that you're playing in this conference. Uh, my name is Mary Nzomo. I'm the CC for Agriculture Life Officialist in Razoya County, and I'm also the chair of the CC Caucus. I'm here on behalf of the agriculture CCs in Kenya. 
and what we want to, 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 to reaffirm is our support to the youth because we believe that youth are the future of, uh, of farming in, in Kenya. And as county governments, we have, we've actually committed ourselves to support youth in agribusiness, Realize, out of the realization that uh, youth may find agriculture unattractive, but we are committed to make it look attractive, and including even the way the farming is done. You know, somebody doesn't even need to have a djembe to farm on the farm. We are saying there are technologies, there are working tractors. You don't need a, a djembe to even plow your land. You can use a working tractors to even uh, plow, plant, do value addition. We are saying there are opportunities in market linkages, e e even offering extension services, e-extension, e-marketing, transportation. So we are saying agriculture does not just end up with production. There are so many opportunities for youth along the valley chain and we are there to help the youth identify those opportunities and support them as county governments. Thank you so much. As we wind up before, okay, let me, let me ask uh, Mr. Marius as the Germanic government, maybe are you thinking to do this into other counties because these are three counties in western region. Maybe are you thinking to go to other regions together with the PS and other uh, stakeholders? You see, uh, the German government is only one international development partner. There are other development partners like USAID, the World Bank, other, other donors are engaged also in agriculture. And we don't want to be too dispersed thinly across the country. We want to focus that we really make an impact. Counties. I don't want to rule out that if the government requests us to also look at other counties that we look at it, but we have to be careful not to stretch too far and then to make uh, a, a too thin impact. In, uh, in the place. But what's happening is that standards are being developed which permeate into the national system and so all the TIVIT institutions and polytechnics would benefit from the standards of training that are created and this would relate to high yield productivity, innovation and efficiency. This is a joint effort by all stakeholders. Thank you so much. Just one more gentleman because of time. Uh, my name is Charles Ogada. I'm CEC Agriculture CIA. I'm here to echo what my colleagues have said. We have a, a growing population of young people, but they're not engaged in agriculture. This forum is about exposing young people to opportunities and potentials available in agriculture. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you so much, gentlemen and the lady. That is a few of the comments from leaders and also stakeholders from Western Region here at Bukura Agricultural College, where the first conference on agribusiness targeting the youth has just begun today and is expected to end tomorrow where the young people will sign a memorandum of agreement with different counties where they come from so as to get a lot of funding and also maybe to be helped in means and ways to start agribusiness and also to venture into other businesses that can create revenue in regard to agriculture and also secure uh, self-employment rather than look for white-collar jobs, Ben. Thank you, Willie. Willie Lewis again live for us in the county.